Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right, today we are making chicken and waffles. Now, I will say I have never heard of this dish until about two hours ago when I was figuring out what to do for the show. Have you ever heard of this dish? I have not. So, oh. smile dear, you're always smiling. So just so you know guys, we're a little bit late because uh, one of our service providers just randomly canceled our account. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we won't be recommending you. <gasps> okay. Right. So, we are making chicken and waffles. I will. As soon as I. Dining on a Dime Cookbook. The waffles are on page 49. There we are. The We're chicken <gasps> is Hi, on everyone. chicken tenders, easy chicken tenders on our. Um, at livingonadime.com. Mike will put that link in there. Just post it. Um, so we're going to get started super simple from what I think, I don't know. I've never made this dish before. I don't, who has anybody heard of chicken and waffles before? This is new to me. If well, you've heard of chicken and thing. waffles, then please post in the description below where you heard about this dish because my family's from the south. I'm not from the south, but my family comes from the south, so you would think I would have heard of this dish before. Nicole but, says, finally get to see you live after months. I'm hello. glad you're here, Nicole. Okay, so I'm going to get started on the waffles first, I think, okay? So what we're going to do, page 49, Dining on a Dime Cookbook right now. And as you can see, we do not have an announcement to buy the books because thank you to one of our viewers, they found a major thing that we had left out of the book for 20 years. How we got by 20 years without noticing this, I don't know. But she kindly emailed me and let me know, so we had to fix that today. So next, do you think it's going to be Monday? For what? The sale. Well, for dining? if we're back, it'll be then, yes. Okay, so we're leaving tomorrow to go help my brother move. So probably Monday, you will be able to pre-order the 20th <gasps> anniversary edition of Dining on a Dime. And we have a surprise. I will. Oh, Peggy says, I thought I missed you. We're glad you hung on because we were saying, because on Wednesday we said, we're not sure if we're going to be on on Monday. <laughs> we thought people might leave. Okay, so I'm beating my eggs. <gasps> Ooh. Brenda says she's a teacher on school fall break and gets to catch the show. Yay! Yay! Crystal says so good. Okay, so I have my eggs are beaten in here. I am adding my flour. I'm adding my sugar. I forgot to do my margarine. I ran out of just regular cooking oil, so I'm using margarine today. Let me melt that. Margarine, how dare you? A lot of people saying they heard about it in the South and it's really good, and apparently Bobby Flay did it. Oh, really? Uh, okay. So I've got those in now. I'm getting my baking, or my salt, because the world needs more salt, people. Okay, and now I have my baking powder. Probably better measure this one. So I need tea, three, or I need four teaspoons. So I'm gonna take my tablespoon, which is three, and then do a third. There we go, four, okay? All right, and then we need ugh, one and two thirds cup of milk. Now for this, I am using, that's dry milk. I keep dry milk on hand and use it for all my baking when milk is not cheaper. It's about the same. Now I happen to have dry milk that I need to get used up right now so that if we happen to find a house in the next, well, you know, year, then we can not have to move it. Okay, there's my margarine. Getting it all uh. done up here. So what's the difference between waffles and pancakes? Waffles. I think it might be them. Maybe. I don't know. Get the phone over there. 
Guys, we have books coming. I'm sorry we're waiting for them to come. Okay. So the difference between... Dave, go ahead and do me for a minute. The difference between waffles and pancakes is that waffles uses more oil. Was it them? Oh, and more milk. So, Mike is back me, in line. Did you tell him we already know who we're voting for and we are going to be at the polls? What? We are there. So, somebody was asking, um, I, I was right looking at that with the time. What if you only have self rising flour and something else? I didn't see Okay, so if you have self rising flour, omit the baking powder and salt and just use the two cups of, of flour, okay? And I got a question on and, my. And butter? Is butter okay? Yes, butter is fine. I got a question on our Facebook page. Why don't you use. Self-rising flour, it saves a step because it's a lot more expensive. So that's kind of not smart for saving money. So Kristen says, if you haven't ever heard of it, how'd you get the idea to make it on the show? I'm from Minnesota, okay. but I love me some chicken and waffles. Okay, so how did I? Okay, so now we're gonna put in our waffle maker and we're gonna get it cooking. And while we're making our waffles, we're gonna get our chicken going, okay? Um, I was do so. Um, now, Dave, come back to me. The chicken part of this. Oh, I left my chicken. <laughs> Can you get the chicken out of the fridge, Dave? For the chicken part of this, I'm doing it Tara style. I hate making fried chicken. It's delicious, but I think fried chicken is a pain in the rear to make. So I'm gonna make uh, chicken fried tenders, okay? Mm -hmm. Chicken tenders is what I'm gonna do. And um, so how did I come upon this recipe? So we have discovered a new way to search, um, to search, to decide what videos we're gonna do. There is actually, so there's actually a method to putting out blog content and videos for the search engines. There is a systematic way you need to do it. So as we were looking at that today, I came upon this chicken and waffles and I was like, well, let's just try that and see as I was looking for keywords that people search and this was one of them. So, so you're making the chicken now. We'll see. I don't know. I've never had this. You, you've you never had this and you're from Texas. That's south, isn't it? Well, somebody it? else, it sounds like some people are saying they, in some northern Midwest places and in LA and other places. What? So maybe it isn't just a southern How is thing. I never heard of this? I so anyway, no I discovered it when we were doing a keyword search for waffles. And I thought, well, let's give it a try, shall we? So I'm cutting up my chicken. These are just regular chicken breasts that I got for $1.49 a pound. Um, this, once hmm. again, wow, Indiana too, is going to be uh, $1 per serving or less, probably or less. Probably closer to 75 cents per serving. But that's okay. All right. So then, let me check my waffles. Oops, almost done, not quite. Need to go just a little bit more. Okay, so I have my milk in here. And I have my potato flakes. Why are my potato flakes not coming out? Okay, Hello? Jack was like, Jack was like, oh, do you mashed potatoes? <laughs> and then mom dashed his hopes on the rocks. Dashed his hopes and dreams. Wanda says, I love your apron. You need to ask Jill to make you one that says, get it together, people. I know. Oh. Okay. Now, I am putting, the recipe calls for garlic um, potato flakes. I did not, the, I just got the cheapy ones and added my own garlic powder. Don't waste money on specific, I don't even know why I put that recipe in there like that because that's just not smart. Okay. And then my egg in my milk. 
I'm not even sure if I'm making this recipe right because I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> we'll just go for it, okay? Okay, let me wash my hands <laughs> real quick. Oh, oh, wait, we got a super chat from Mo Banuela. Oh, Mo, hi Mo. I'm not sure, yeah. Mo Banuelos. Thank you for everything you guys do. I'm watching on my phone. It won't let me send $25, so she's sending $24.99. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> thank you. We sure appreciate that, Mo. Man, thank you. Didn't you super chat once before? That was, that's You're really so awesome. so sweet. Okay, ooh. Okay. So there's the first waffle right there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let me get a light spritzing here and get the next waffle going while I get my t chicken tenders going. So a number of people are liking your shirt. Thank and you. Nicole says, I love your lipstick. Thank you. And Brenda says, I'm loving your cookbook and wonder how I've cooked without it all these years. Thank you. She says the banana bread recipe is wonderful. I know, it's delicious, isn't We just it? made that recently on the show, didn't we? Okay, so I'm putting this in my uh, potato flakes here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in my hot oil back here. Oh man, that looks good. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't see it. Now, this is fried chicken for people who hate making fried chicken like me. I will tell you. I just don't like doing it. It's a mess and I know. Somebody here says, I thought waffles were part of dessert. I thought they were breakfast. Yeah, we usually eat them as breakfast or breakfast for dinner. I or however you want to do that. Now, to make this a complete meal, I have never, since I've never eaten this meal, I have no idea what they serve for side dishes. I'll be perfectly frank. You can come back up, Dave. Um, Sounds like it's really popular in a lot of the Midwest. They're saying Detroit and Indiana and what? Minnesota. Wow. Hmm. Well, here's what I would do since I have no idea, and you guys tell me what you would serve as a side dish, but... I would probably serve it with like applesauce or sliced apples or peaches, maybe, I don't know, if, I don't know, would you serve it with vegetables? To me it would seem more like it's a, like, like a breakfast type food type thing, so I don't know. Jamie says Waffle House at 119 has these and there's a specialty of the, of what? the place. And I never knew this. You should have asked the kids. Of course, I didn't know there was a Waffle House on 119 either. All the time that we've lived here, yeah. Uh, good grief. Hi, Allison in New Zealand. Okay, so let me show you. We've got them started right here. Okay. Cooking, okay? Right there. Don't that look delicious? Mm -hmm. All right, let me wash my hands real quick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So some people were saying never heard of potato flakes on chicken before. So, it is yummy. So earlier we were doing other videos for other purposes and we used, uh, what well, should I not say? Oh, we were, we were making the Parmesan uh, chicken tenders that are, are they in the cookbook or just on the website? No, they're just, but they're going to be in the more dining iodine cookbook if that's what we call it. Yay. So. As soon as the 20th anniversary edition comes out, we're going to come out with a new Dining on a Dime, and that will have this recipe in it. So, so, so Kathy says, I love that you wing it while you cook. <laughs> ah, that's me. I winged it at the grocery store today. I went because we were supposed, we were shooting like, how many videos did we shoot? Six? We even have some of them still in the oven. Oh, here you guys want to look. Here you go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, we need to remember to get Isn't a video that of that at the end of the show. Lovely. Man, that smells good. So, we still have some in the oven. Okay, <gasps> so now let me turn these over because they're starting to get brown. And I turned my heat down to medium. So you're doing the chicken tenders right now. Okay. I will be sharing that link. <laughs> okay. All right, now let me check my waffles, see? Woo, 
that's looking yummy. I'm going to leave it just a minute more just to get a little bit. So do you guys like your cr waffles crunchy or soft? Crunchy. I did not know my kids had very specific tastes on waffles being crunchy or soft. I didn't even know there was a difference. Shelly says hello there from Maine. Glad I caught you. Thanks, Shelly. We're glad you're Thank here. Thank you, Shelly. Kathy says I've heard of cornflakes on fried chicken. I have too. Mm -hmm. We used to, I think my family would be really good. in Louisiana sometimes did that. Yeah, that would be really good. At least it says, ooh, with syrup all over it. Yeah, I was wondering if, I was wondering about that Dutch syrup, Dutch honey. If it oh, went that would be so good. On this with the chicken. Okay. Uh, talk about a heart attack. So there's waffles number two. Doesn't that look lovely, light, and fluffy? There's Dave reaching for it because Dave's always starving. I'm starving. Lisa starving. says it's huge in Texas too. And they just bring it plated with the huge waffle and the fried chicken on top. Wow. Hmm. Ashley says we just eat the chicken and waffles with no sides. You just eat the chicken and waffles with no sides. Ruth says they use greens. Mardella says eggs. Oh. So it must be a breakfast thing. Okay. Applesauce. Oh, okay. See, I would think applesauce would be something that people would do a lot of. That, that would make sense for me. Yum, giant waffles. Yes, Joanne. Although the sad thing is Tara can't eat them, but she's cooking them. I shouldn't eat them, but I sometimes do. Okay, we're getting these all nice and crispy. Um. <gasps> Allison says, would you believe it? I've never had a waffle in my life. What? what? Whoa, you're missing out. How do you make it without having a waffle? You need to put that on your bucket list. Man, no <laughs> kidding. Oh, whoops. I think I feel Dave come check quickly. I think <gasps> I sort of overfilled this See, one. I think Joanne, Joanne gets me. She says I put chocolate ice cream on waffles. Okay, Dave. That was totally, oh, you know what? When Ellie and I were in Scotland, we went to a pizza hut of all places. A pizza hut? And they had this uh, waffle thing with ice cream on it and fudge and it was like a waffle sundae or something. It was awesome. Mm. I think we actually had one in London too. It was oh, okay. really good. You could, oh, Never heard of it. Kathy was wondering if you can make gluten-free waffles. You can't make gluten-free waffles. Yeah, gluten you can. Yeah. Can you? Oh, okay. But, okay, let me see if my chickens, my, uh, excuse me, my, my stove got turned, wait, I turned it down a little too low. Mm, maybe just a minute more. <laughs> Whoa, look at all these. I'm just looking to see what kind of comments we have. Okay, <clears throat> so for those of you who don't know, we have 25% um, off homemade soap making supplies.com for my soaps and my soap making supplies until Friday. I'm going to cut some soap as soon as we are done. Um, and then. Uh, yeah, so we are leaving tomorrow. Where are we going? Um, to my brother's house to help him move oh. again. Um, Hopefully says, they will close. Jamie says cream spinach. Oh, you got, you got Sorry. Mike's temptation bone. Hmm? Gross. <laughs> Where did you eat that the other night? We went somewhere. We went to a barbecue place that one. Oh, the right. barbecue place. Yeah. Yeah. Alice, when is the new book coming out? We're thinking about, probably about Thanksgiving, but we're telling people we'll ship it on the 1st of December. Pre-orders are starting next Monday. Um, we're not sure how long it'll take for the, to come back from the printer. Part of the process is we send them things and then they prep it and they send us proofs. So like samples of what it's supposed to look like. And if we say that looks great and we approve it, then it goes into production. So... Yep. Hopefully not too long. How do I pronounce that? Mish Nicola says, oh, I love your mug. Oh, your snowman. Yes, my friend Donna. We love Donna. She's our faithful viewer and my one of my helpers. She um, gave me that. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. I was like, oh, thanks, Donna. That's so cute. I loved it. 
Okay, getting a couple more chicken tenders in here. And for all of you guys who are going to be saying, oh, she's putting raw chicken next to the other chicken. No, I'm not. The other chicken is pushed to the side, and this is in the middle, so there's not touching anything. So mm -hmm. we've filmed, how many videos did we film today? Five or six? Five or six. We filmed six videos today for you guys. Uh, Linda says, I haven't had waffles before because I didn't know they came in soft, just crunchy. They do. They come in soft. Um, Mike yeah. is a crunchy everything person. Oops, I'm sorry. But we've had them soft a lot, right? Is that? Yeah. Looking like it's done? Not yet. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if that was steam or smoke. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was being tactful. What do you mean you don't know if it's steam or smoke? <laughs> Little Dragonfly says, love you guys. Hi from North Carolina. Hi. Oh, thanks. Thank I hope you. you're okay after all the hoo-ha last Thinking the month. same thing. Okay. Oh. Alice says, yippee, love when you're out here. <laughs> Mike's going to have to check on that one again. Oh. Okay. Now, let me check my next waffle. Uh, let me get just a minute more. Okay, now we're getting our chicken tenders. Again? More junk mail again? Probably. It's just hard to call it. And when I answered it, nobody answered, so... We're being yeah. extra patient with the phone calls tonight because... We're supposed to have another load of books coming today, they said. We were concerned that it might not come till tomorrow when we're on the road. Well, we had told them to wait till tomorrow because we were supposed to be gone this weekend helping my brother move. So there's a memo saying they weren't supposed to come till tomorrow. But, of course, as usual, this company does not listen to anything. I called this morning and they said, oh, they're out on the dock waiting to go. And they said, okay, I just want to make sure because we had a note on there about it not being delivered. But I want to make sure if, if it's ready, you guys can bring it today. I was like, okay, we will. So it's 5 o'clock here. We haven't heard anything so far. So, But this company is the worst we have had so many problems with this shipping company it's and not our printer it's the company that yeah. they ship with but um Fabric colic says i'm in texas never heard of chicken and waffles being served together you know i've lived in austin for 22 years when i was growing up and i never heard of it either so okay all about yeah. the journey chicken and waffles is a u.s thing i think yeah not even all the u.s because we've lived oh, in the yeah. U.S. all our lives, and we just heard about it today. <laughs> because Tara was spinning ahead today, and so about two hours before the show, we decided what it was about. <laughs> Aren't you funny? Jennifer is asking, is there much difference between Eggo store waffles and homemade? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot different. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot different. <laughs> and you can do Eggos a lot of... Eggos don't even compare. Some of the waffles have um like that vanilla like flavor to them hey, can you have me another plate is that something that is it just vanilla that causes that it's it a something? malted it's oh, malted. malted yeah unfortunately these aren't mal malted but hi lana good evening from aztec new mexico lana did you get your soap cutter and all your goodies she's the one that won the big soap cutter for our contest oh yay Okay. Elizabeth is asking, do you have a special waffle maker? Actually, that's a pretty nice waffle maker. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just a regular waffle maker. Hey Dave, grab that for a second. Ugh. The waffle maker. Sorry. Oh, ah! Ah! Oh dear. What? You didn't burn yourself, right? Your no. hand was close to the iron, so. I'm just trying to do this. This is not easy to do. <clears throat> okay, so then the last one I'm just gonna put on the edge there. It's just a little half for waffle. Okay, so now, where did the butter go? Dave, can you put the piano bench down? Huh? Can you put the piano bench down? Okay, so now I'm going to trim off all this yummy goodness here, just to make it all prettified. Okay, big old block of butter. On here. Sorry guys, we're setting up the defense. Okay. Now. Okay. Now 
we have a piece of chicken and a piece of chicken. Oh. And then we have syrup. Oh, look, it looks just like thumbnail. Okay. Wow, that looks delicious. <laughs> that does look pretty good. Wow, that looks really good. What do you guys good. think? Do I get a thumbs up? So now the question is, is this lunch, dinner, or breakfast? Because it looks like it could be breakfast, because chicken is sometimes served with breakfast. I don't know. That's a good question. Okay, so how do you eat this? That's what I'm wondering. Hold on. Let's wait for the camera. Bring it on over here, okay. Dave. Oops. I'm ah, already, my chicken's falling off. I'm already down. Okay, now you gotta go to dad because dad's gonna be the reaction shot. You gotta get dad's reaction shot. Okay. So do you eat them together? I. I don't think you eat them well, together thinking, from the you videos know, you, I saw. Well, like with when pigs in a blanket is pancakes. Usually you eat the sausage and the. Hmm. Maybe yeah. let me try it together first, since I already know what they taste like separate. Ah. Dun, dun, dun. Everybody's gonna say Mike is crazy. good. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. Actually, they said something about dipping it in the syrup. The chicken in the syrup? Well, that would be good. That is really good. Um. Here, let's try a little more. That is pretty good. Just the chicken in the syrup? Interesting. Uh, they're, yeah. They're saying eat it together. Eat it together. That's what I thought. <laughs> because otherwise, why would it be chicken <laughs> and waffles if you didn't eat it together? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try another oh. little piece. Mm. I just walked into the room as my glasses fog out, fog in, fog everywhere. Oh, nicely. oh dear. Mm. Can I have a waffle? Is it good? Mm -hmm. yep. Can I have a waffle? Come here. It's hey, Jack, come here. Huh. Okay, try a new. Your try fan it. club has a special request of you. Okay, come try this new taste sensation we just discovered. It's chicken with a waffle. Okay, Good try time. it. Get over here and try it. Yeah, is that too much food for you? Sorry, let me get a smaller piece. I forgot. You don't have a big mouth like I do. Oh, man. You just stepped right into that one. I know. I did it on purpose to throw you a bone. Oh. <laughs> All right. Here you go, Jack. Oops. I guess that waffle's going to be too big, too. Okay. Try chicken and waffle. <laughs> He's not sure. It's different. And he's nine. Tastes chickeny. Chickeny. And tastes waffly. Waffly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Chili Girl says it's dinner oh. and dessert all in one if you add oh. blueberries and so strawberries. Oh my god. Ow, the taste is burning my mouth. The taste is so burning the your mouth. It's so it's good. It's so good. The taste is burning wow. your mouth. Get you a plate. You can have some waffles. Did you hear that? Jilly says. There's no more plates. It's dinner and dessert all in one if you add blueberries and strawberries. I'm oh, just that would be a it. And my mouth is burning because of how horrible huh. it tastes. Oh, stop. Yeah, no, Gypsy Girl know. said Mike did it right. Thanks. Ugh. Yum. What syrup did you use? Uh, just. Oh, Mrs. Butterworth? Yeah, just the cheapy Mrs. Butterworth. Is it supposed to be like a sandwich? Well, I bet you could do it that way. Uh, but basically, I think the idea is just eating the, the chicken and the waffles together. So that yeah, was good. Yeah, you just need chicken and waffles. Well, you we noticed that waffles. lots of people were searching for that, so we thought we should try it out if it's that popular and see Mom. what it is. Janelle said, how did it taste, Jack? So be, be true. Meh. Um, <laughs> Meh? Is that what you this said? is Mr. Does Not Like His Food to Be Mixed. It doesn't, it, it tastes pretty good, but it doesn't, not the best thing in the world. Uh-uh. Thanks. Of... Apparently today is Canadian Thanksgiving. Today is Canadian Thanksgiving. Ooh, how cool. Well, happy Thanksgiving, all of our yeah. Canadians. Oh, I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I'm going to cut soap for just a minute here. What? <laughs> so oh. you guys can see soaps. That was good. I have to have more in a little while. Except I think I needed more butter. Because the world needs more butter, people. Why is this table not <laughs> So Buster doesn't escape. Yum, that was good. So you just serve it like that. Actually, I'd like to try it Apparently. with... Apparently. It's probably not kosher to do this, but I would love to try it with... Well, I didn't mean kosher, like... Kosher, kosher, but 
Um, but I think it would be cool to try it with Jackson. strawberries or blueberries. Yeah. Okay, so this is my autumn spice sampler set. You too. My autumn spice sampler set. This one is Hawaiian Dreams. What do you think? Doesn't this smell good? That smells good. This one is cranberry. So maybe we should put more syrup on the chicken. Country they just, cranberry. Because they are saying that the you syrup put goes syrup on the chicken. Put syrup on the chicken? Yeah. Man, that was good. Uh, okay. David Joshua. Keeps on threatening. If I have to come over there. Keeps on coming over here. That wasn't her. That was Punching something else me. I was talking about. <laughs> this one is sweet apple pie. <sighs> Man. Go down to the basement. And this one's pear berry. Oh, let me smell it again. David. Hmm. This one is spicy amber. Hmm. And this one is pumpkin. Okay, so I need it. Am I supposed to give you my choice? No. They all come in a set. Hmm. So you can get them all and enjoy all the fall sense of spice. Who gets the Mike Sniffed It set? We do. <laughs> That's our set. But that needs to be it, like extra. Yeah. Oh, we should sell Mike's set for Mike Sniffed It set extra? Man. <laughs> yep, everybody says together. Um, but I should That's probably weird. I should probably take it and put a little more syrup on it. Yeah, Maggie says, reminds me of pigs in a blanket. Yeah, what it's funny because growing up I always thought pigs in a blanket was uh, pancake wrapped around sausage, but it seems like most people think it's, what is it, like a hot dog with a crescent roll around mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Okay, so this is Christmas wreath in my Christmas sampler set, guys. I'm cutting only sampler set soaps today. Oh, I forgot I have one more. My men's one downstairs, too. Um, okay, well, so now we have tried chicken and waffles. Except I want to try a little more with with um, more syrup on it. D says, haven't heard of this until a couple years ago. I'd rather do biscuits. Actually, it's funny. Uh, on... Oh, it would be like biscuits, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I was thinking, on, well, on Tuesday, well, I, I go to a, a Bible study at a Chick-fil-A, and uh, they have chicken and biscuit that I really have to restrain myself not to eat because it's really good. I've had it with powdered sugar and syrup on it. It's really yummy. Hmm. No computer. Yum. This one is Christmas wreath. Mike loves it. He loves, loves, loves it. Yes. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to all of our Canadian friends. I didn't realize it was Thanksgiving until... I didn't know it was well, Canadian Thanksgiving. I knew it was coming up, but I forgot the specific day. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I love it that you are all real people and parents. Yes, and that, and that we let our um, nine-year-old give his unrestrained opinion. <laughs> mm, this one's lavender. So I have oh, a new. Ooh, let me smell that lavender sampler set. Man, one thing about Mike, I like the the stronger smells. I don't know why, but I always do. Oh, little dragonfly says, watch you guys every day. The highlight of my day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan. Jonathan. That was so nice of you. Thank you. So what Dave said is uh, Jonathan at Florida Singularity gave uh, a $5 super chat. And that's awesome. And Jonathan he actually has... will give you a shout out. Go check out his channel, guys. We love Jonathan at Florida Singularity. <laughs> Florida Singularity is his channel at... Uh, YouTube, and it's not a dating site. I was gonna say. Because <laughs> when I first heard it, I thought, is that uh -huh. like a dating thing? But it's just, I think the idea, I hope I'm not stepping on your toes saying so, Jonathan, but I think the idea is kind of life as a single person in Florida. So, yeah. So he's got some pretty uh, funny videos and some pretty cool yeah. experiments he tries. Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, this one's lavender lemongrass. Oh, man. I guess I really like lavender. I so, decided to do a lavender sampler set because everybody loves the lavenders. And it's 25% off right now at homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com. You'll see the coupon code on the front page. Oh, let me share that. And you can get my soap and or soap making supplies both there, whichever you would like. 
love, love, see, love do doing these sampler sets. They, <clears throat> I can't keep these sampler sets in. They're just flying out the door. And if you, you guys are loving them. I also shared the link, but if you can't find this link or any other links, I share them all at, uh, and if you go to livingonadime.com, which is our website, and click show notes, all the links are there. So if you miss any link from the show, uh, including the recipes and everything else, and the soap sale with the coupon code, it's all Yep. There. All right, there's lavender mint. Hmm. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah. Mm. I love lavender, but I'm highly allergic to the plant, which I discovered one day when I went and picked the plant. And I was just smelling it, and it smells so good. And then later I rubbed my eye, and this whole side of my face <laughs> swelled up. I thought I was going to have to have BJ drive me to the hospital. Oh, wow. Valerie says, this is really wrong, but good. Put the fried chicken between two waffles on your favorite cheese and a slice of ham. Serve with your favorite syrup, and it's like a Monte Cristo. Oh, I've never had a Monte goodness. Cristo. I've never either. But I thought a Monte Cristo had an egg on it or something. I have not. We should watch that again. We haven't watched The Count of Monte Cristo for a while. That was a good movie. Yeah. We need some good wow. movies. So Penny G says it's so expensive to buy the the real maple syrup because she says it takes 40 gallons yes. of sap to make one gallon. Mm -hmm. Whoa, no yep. wonder. Do you have to boil off all the extra fluid? This one's lemon or lavender verbena. Oh, yay. Oh, right. Jonathan, I forgot. I forgot you're getting ready to travel. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Where's he going? He just told me. Israel. I forgot. Is he going to Israel? I yeah. So. Oh, cool. I think, well, I think so. I think this is when you said that trip was. I hope it was okay to share. <laughs> so, did Tar get the last waffle out of the uh, waffle iron? Yeah, I did. <laughs> she had a check to make sure. I did. It's the half one over there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gypsy Girl says, never, ever, ever add fruit. That's wrong. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I think she says LOL, so. This is lavender eucalyptus. Oh, oh man. Let me smell it again. Hmm. <laughs> Yum. So, guys, it's kind of dark here, and it's not because it's late. Usually, on the clear days, it's still pretty sunny right now, but it's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit here. Which would be what, Dave? What is 40 degrees? Like 6 or 10 degrees? Oh, like 3 or 4. Oh, yeah. Uh, no? It's... Hang on. It's 40 degrees here, and it's supposed to snow, although it doesn't look like it's going to snow. Ooh, Turid says, I love that green soap, Tara. That Actually, one it looks is, really pretty. That one is lavender yeah, mint. Be, be around 4 degrees. So 4 degrees? 4 degrees? Like 4. Oh, wow. 5 ish around there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, Jeannie wants to know, where's your brother moving? Uh, four blocks down the street. <laughs> so they live in the Wichita, Kansas area. And if you if you happen to be watching uh, at the beginning of the summer, we went out to help them move at that, that time. But the house they ended up with was just really not meshing with them at all. And we had to help them fix a lot of stuff at the beginning. Uh, <clears throat> but it just wasn't working out for them at all so they finally decided you know it was such a traumatic experience for them that they decided to sell it and get something different well and i think that the one that they had wasn't really ideal for them but it looks like the new one is should be pretty nice well we hope so i don't know um find it. it's on the round table so i'm gonna have to try oh, all right here let me try another one of these do you have some more syrup it's right there. You need to check and see if that's the... They don't, they don't usually text me. Ooh, I got syrup on myself. If you would prep that for me, I will check. Um. Okay, so Mike wants to try it. Why would you need more syrup? This My one? goodness, how much syrup would you need on this? This one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So... <clears throat> It's your brother saying Kitty and I watching tonight's show. Oh, goodness. <laughs> should we show people? Are you guys waiting? Are you excited for us to come? Alex gave us Can a one dollar super that chat everybody? donation. Alex Cooper? Alex Miller. Oh, should we show really? that? Yeah. So, uh, so Uncle Dave just sent me this picture here on my phone of uh, him and, and their Kitty watching the show tonight. So, yeah, we're gonna be headed out to see you guys tomorrow, Uncle Dave. We're headed there tomorrow. Calvary's coming to the rescue. 
Cavalry? Cal Calvary. Cal Calvary. Cal Cavalry. Cavalry. about guys on horses. Cal <laughs> get confused. Cal Calvary. Calvary is like. Calvary is Jesus. Yeah. Right. Cal Calvary. Cavalry. Cavalry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me try this again. This is black tie, men soap. This You're is not the best. You're gonna pour this syrup out of this ginormous bottle. No, it's right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you think I would do that? Yes, I would. This is not actually the bottle that this syrup came in. <laughs> Dad, you got a text. We just we buy a giant, a giant cheap bottle and then we re keep refilling it. Yeah. Oh, so I had to put this all over the chicken because I'm told I needed to add a lot more syrup on the chicken. What? Yeah, so. Tastes good. Mmm. It's good. The one thing that would make this better, more butter. <laughs> you had almost two tablespoons on there. Of butter? Yes. Well, give me a couple more and that'll be about right. This is going to have to be all my dinner for the rest of the week. <laughs> Give me a piece of chicken with syrup and let me see what it tastes. Well, let me get the soap. All right, so there's black tie, guys, right there. Min soap. The gypsy girl Love wants it. to know, is it more muscular, masculine scent? Yes. Yes, it is. So I'm getting ready to do a mince. Um, these are min soap for Christmas. And so I'm getting them ready. And um, this one is black tie. This is one of my favorite men's scents. When Mike smells smells like that, ooh, I love it. So, I wasn't yeah. sure if you said that because you dropped something or because you were talking about that. No. Here, it's all drooling. Or, oh my goodness, know, this syrup now. poor waffle is looking worse for the wear. <laughs> well, you're just okay. only having the chicken. I still liked it with the waffle. I can see how that could be good. That's a nice savory and sweet flavor together. Mm-hmm. Of course, if Denise is out there, I would say, Denise, it probably needs some chocolate chips with <laughs> chocolate syrup. Because oh, okay. I know Denise is the chocolate lover. So, let me just give you guys a rundown. This has been a crazy week for us. <clears throat> we were supposed to leave last week for my brother's closing, and the buyer keeps pushing it back. Actually, Margaret says, Mike, didn't you have chicken with honey when you were in Texas? You know, I think I dipped chicken in honey, but we didn't have it with waffles. I can't remember what the occasion was, and I totally forgot till you asked that question. Um, so things have been really crazy. See, we have books coming, and we weren't sure how <gasps> we were going oh, to get them. That's Shayla. Sorry, Shayla. I didn't see. Yeah, it was Shayla. Who wears bifocals? I thought it was Shayla. I was wondering why you were saying it was David. Well, because he's been using Shayla's oh, phone, and I. I see. And I thought since it's. it's, it's Usually it's him that's in front of the computer. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, Shayla. Um, so we're going to be visiting you tomorrow, Shayla. We, uh, let's see, what else happened this week? So we're waiting for books to come to get us through between now and when the more Dining on a Dime comes. Um, we're leaving tomorrow to help my brother move. Hopefully the buyers won't flake out. And my grandfather ended up in the hospital. We went to go visit Saturday night. He was looking, he's 91. He's looking really bad. So we called the, uh, what's that nurse call, uh, nurse practitioner to come over. And she came over at seven o'clock. Said, yeah, you need to go to the ER. And he's got fluid in his lungs. So mom was <clears> like, <throat> oh great. Am I going to be passing you guys on I-70 as mom's coming out? And we're going out there, <laughs> but he's going to be okay. They're, they're going to drain the fluid, so she's not going to come. And then Saturday morning, my aunt in Oregon texted and said, oh, I'm going to be there tomorrow morning. So yesterday morning, my aunt from Oregon showed up. <laughs> so it's been crazy around here. So Eddie was, Eddie super chatted for $5 and says, what was left out of the book for 20 years? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't tell. Do I tell? Oh, oh, yeah. Actually, I don't think that would have hurt, really, because I think most people would Actually, have Actually, it's major if you don't know how to cook. Oh, oops. I would have figured it out, and I'm, I've am i never made a pie before. Okay, what did I leave out of the 20th anniversary, or what <clears throat> did I leave out of the book for 20 years? So, we have how to make homemade pie in here. 
on page pie 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 where's the pie let me find it homemade pie we got another five dollar super chat yeah you guys saw it we saw yeah. it okay cool Just okay so you can show, we saw it on page 247 we have homemade <laughs> apple pie jennifer says i get my butter if you get your salt <laughs> i'm there okay with that um wait a minute okay right here pie crust so we have chocolate pie just a few pages over right here and coconut pie and banana pie and all that and they call for a baked pie crust and i did not realize all these years i did not tell how to bake a pie crust for pies that aren't baked like your chocolate pies your banana cream coconut cream pies. I didn't know I'd left that out. So today we were frantically trying to fix that. And it's not quite as easy as it seems because we had all the pages laid out. So we had to move some stuff to try and get it in there. Maybe they changed the Get indexes. it to the printer. Who knows how much it's going to cost us to have to make that change now. Actually, but... she made it sound like they would just do it because they like us. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because we're likable? <clears throat> well, it's funny because when we first had printers, well, the very first printer was super excited because we were the first book they ever published. Yeah. They did brochures and pamphlets and things, and, and when we came in with the book, they had to call an extra help to do it. But then at one point we had a, <clears throat> I think it was when we had a publisher. Do you think he's noticed Mom sneaking more kisses? I don't think so. I don't think he's yes, noticed. Yes, I have. Yes, you have. You've noticed Mom sneaking more kisses? <laughs> Go ahead. When we had a publisher, their okay. printer was grouchy about everything. Yeah. And so uh, now that we, we've worked with the same printer for seven, almost eight years, yeah, uh, I think we all get along pretty well. So <laughs> a lot yeah. of people praying for Grandpa. That's Thank awesome. you, guys. Yeah, he's... It looks like he's going to be okay. Of course, he is 91, so, you know, you can't expect to live forever, but... But it's nice going over to see him, and um, mm -hmm. he's one of the grandparents that the kids have seen a lot who has yeah. always been really extra special He's the them. only grandfather my kids have really known, so... Anyway. The only yeah. one who doesn't hate us. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, my dad doesn't exactly... Oh, I, never mind. I'm not going to get into all that. Well, yeah, so. don't get into that. <laughs> Well, just, you know. So Gypsy okay. Girl says, I keep wanting to wait for the new book, but need to get the old one too. <laughs> well, So the pre-orders for 99 on Dime are going to happen next Monday. We are going to get those going on Monday, right, dear? Mike's going to work on the sale as we are driving to Kansas tomorrow. He is. And work on videos as we're driving to Kansas tomorrow. The main thing on working on the sale is most of it is explaining to people who aren't totally up to speed on what it is, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah. So we'll so. be working on that. And I've been waiting for Tar to be a captive audience. And I figure when she's in the car, I can say, hey, darling. <laughs> I've been saying that lately. That freaked out Emily last night, didn't it? Or Why? somebody was, somebody was finding it strange that I called you darling. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it, I can't remember. Oh yeah, <laughs> Emily, for those of you who know Emily, she, she, was, she was here visiting yeah. last night yeah. and that was nice. So, um, let's see. Rhonda, hi, I love watching from home. Tara, baby girl knows your voice and moves like crazy when I'm watching. It makes me so happy since she is, has slowed her moving down. You mean she's not born <clears> yet? <throat> she knows my voice? That's scary. So when I'm is she, sorry. remind us when <laughs> she's due, Heather. Gypsy, I know it's pretty soon, I thought. Gypsy Girl sent a super chat and said, I just think you guys are great for $4.99. Oh, oh, thank you, Gypsy thanks, Girl. Gypsy Girl. Man, you guys are on the super chats tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> That'll pay for all our gas money out there. <clears throat> Yay. Uh, Jennifer, will the new book have the older recipes? The new book yeah. has... Uh, the 20th anniversary edition has everything in the current Dining on a Dime, plus 30 more new recipes. Except we took one little tip out. Yeah. I think it was about using your 8-track tape for something. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, whatever. <clears throat> but. Uh, Linda, I do not have the black tie mins listed yet. I will try to get that up. It will ship in four weeks. It needs to cure. And then the men's sampler set will probably ship in six to eight weeks as soon as I get the other um, soaps made. So, and in that set is going to be black tie, 
Uh, stone house, which is oh, yummy. Shaving a haircut, spearmint <laughs> eucalyptus, and orange clove for men. That's the one I'm going to do for the men. So, so Stacy asked, is David driving while you two work? Yes. And... Oh. Jack's gonna be listening to his music. David's actually been driving. Dave's gonna be driving. Well. Jack. Yes. I'm, I'm so crashed. scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Dave's a good driver. <laughs> well, yeah, let's get kisses. He drives you to school almost every day. What are you talking about? Pretty soon, mom and dad will come with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You're just feeling he's good today, permit, aren't so you? We, we take him. But he's actually, uh, when last couple times we went out to Grandma and Grandpa's house, we were practicing Dave with the standard. Oh, yeah. And he does so good at the standard. He's it's really real. pretty good. He's really yeah. good at the standard for at the beginning. And uh, Did he stall it somebody, immediately? Nope. Somebody asked, uh, Christine asked, what are the donations for? <clears throat> and on YouTube, there's a thing called a super chat. And people don't have to do it. But if you just, if sometimes people just want to support the channel more, they can give a super chat. Uh, so that's just where when you chat, you donate something with it. And there's a little dollar sign next and to that. And they also do it sometimes if you have questions that you specifically need or really need answered, you can do that and then it shows up so that we can see it and it not makes, miss it. it yeah, yeah. post it in a big yeah. colored box. So mm -hmm. if if you're trying to get a hold of a YouTuber and they, you can't get yeah. their attention, sometimes that's a way to do that. Yeah. So. Um, Liz, I just made your apple pie a couple of days ago. I got an awesome pie from one of my kids. Oh. Yum. Is mom's cooking awesome? <clears throat> Is mom's cooking yes. awesome? Mom's um, cooking awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, hmm. Maybe sometimes. All right, guys. Thank you for visiting us. We are not going to have a live show on Wednesday, but we will put up a video for you. You're pushing me down. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> Do not attack your mother. We have evidence. <laughs> just, okay. Oops. It was his love was just bowling you over. <laughs> your love was just. We have material. <laughs> so. <clears throat> okay. So. Stacy says we should get Dave a chauffeur cap. Actually, oh. we have a flat cap, which probably would look like a chauffeur. Cap. Okay. Please like, subscribe, share. Give us a thumbs up, guys. Please also visit us at livingonadime.com and check out our how to make our, our, mean, our dining on a dime cookbook. Please run over to homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com for 25% off your soap till Friday and your soap making supplies until Friday. I have them both on the same website. The link or the coupon code is on the page for homemaking supplies. So homemade soap making supplies dot com. And um, oh, wait, one we more, will. Yeah. One more thing. We are probably <clears throat> going to get snow tonight. Yes. And we're so supposed that's... to get snow. That's why I was. That's why I was using my cute little snowman cup because we're supposed to get snow tonight. Someone asked if uh, you could freeze spaghetti before we go. Not really. You can't freeze spaghetti? No, it doesn't really turn out very well. It gets mushy. Once it's cooked? Yeah. Oh, here I was, I was wrong. I was going to say yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Have a great night. We will see you live next Monday with our big sale. So get your purses ready because the first 24 hours, every book order that comes in the first 24 hours is going to be signed oh, no. by us. So, or me, by <clears throat> me. I shouldn't say us, by me. Um, Ouch. So. Hey, even though we won't be here Wednesday, I was hoping we could post the show about the time we usually do. So if everyone wants to get together and chat, that would be fine. <laughs> oh, All okay. right, guys. We will see you next Monday. Bye. Have a good week. Have an awesome week. Bye. See you later. And give your kid more kisses. Yes, even when they do knock you off the stool. <gasps> Am I okay. feeling it with Ending. He's feeling his Cheerios tonight. <laughs>